In a week, I picked up two boxes of random Warhammer miniatures from two different people, and I must say that both of these are probably some of my favorite finds ever. This video is sponsored by Cyberforge. Hey everyone, you're watching Squidmore Miniatures. I'm Emil. If you watch this channel for a while, you know that I love buying stuff on eBay, marketplaces and things like that to find old Warhammer boxes and just go through them and see what's in there. This time I have two packages. And this is the first one. This is the old Warhammer box, the one with the red foam inside. And I actually put out the request. Does anyone have this one? I have one already for my Wood Elves, but I want one for my new Space Orc army, the Rogue Trader Space Orcs. And this dude got in touch with me and said that he has a box, but it's full of dwarfs and he asked for 50 bucks. And I thought, that's totally fine. I'll, I'll take it. The box is probably worth 20, $25 or something. And whatever is inside of here, probably worth more than $25. But let's open up and see. The first thing, I actually know what it is. It's the fourth edition. I think dwarfs and then what else? These are amazing for inspiration. Lots of sweet artworks. And then it's the orcs and goblins from, I think this is sixth edition, but I'm not sure. Just look at this sweet, sweet stuff. But yeah, enough about the books. Let's jump in the box. Okay, the first level of stuff looks like Battle from Skull Pass Dwarfs. So we got some of these dwarf warriors. And I don't know about you guys, but uh, just making these type of videos and watching people like open stuff, that's so cathartic to me. <laughs> I just love watching these type of videos. Uh, so we have 15 of these dwarf warriors. Oh, 16. And then we have what's possibly long beards. You take a look at like the beard and the face, it looks like the chestnut ink wash so there's another 16 of these boys okay that's the first one two more to go oh <laughs> you see this the thing that catches my eye the first are the slayers and there's a lot of slayers in here so there is a total of 20 slayers in here we even have the standard standard barrier i think this could possibly be the leader ah here's the musician Got like a big tube or whatever you call this. Sweet. So 20 slayers. Impossible to rank up. Hashtag Warhammer fantasy problems. Okay, we also have dude. So this dude has got a flag and a dragon. Looks like some boss. It's a bit hard to see because there's like super glue and paint over his name. So I'm gonna need help identifying this one. Just a dragon on the back that's like, he made a dragon scale cloak. <laughs> he just kept the freaking dragon head on. <laughs> okay, coming up, we got cannon crew, more cannon crew. There's a lot of cannon crew <laughs> in here. These guys look so sweet and like, has cannonballs on his belt and stuff. Foot on cannonball, pointy finger, the looking glass. These are so sweet as well. So there's uh, 13 of these dudes, and then we have a runesmith. This is a runesmith. We got a champion. Because he is the area of uh, chestnut ink. Let's look at the beard. It's very glossy. These dwarves are kind of awesome and derpy at the same time. I really love it. <laughs> so these are thunderers. So look at these ones. They are very different. I think the left one is 4th edition, and then the right one is probably 5th or 6th edition. Oh, look at this beaut. <laughs> These are so cute. Three newer ones and 15 older ones. So 18 total. And then bring up the last. <laughs> Here we have some sweet stuff. My God. Okay, we're getting into the, what I think is gonna be my favorite one out of all these so far. We can start with a big obvious one. So this is the, the, the sweet dude on the shield. I can't remember exactly his name. I'm gonna look it up. And then we have, look at this. Get to the gyrocopter. The original one. That's awesome. And more stuff. What? This might be the flame cannon, maybe. We also have some cannons. 
We have one of these. I'm not sure what this is. Might be the organ gun. Oh, we have two of those and that's the missing cannon. So it's four machine guns there. We also have two of these crossbow thingies. One of them is not glued together, but we have the other one and all the pieces. Oh, what is this? The This is the white dwarf. I don't know if this is the first or second one, but the white dwarf. You'll probably tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. <laughs> Nobody cares when I'm right, but when I'm wrong. And here we have someone, Damon's son. Look at the, the pointy finger. Oh, here we got something. Gotrek and Felix. These ones were released in a couple of different versions. It's probably not the, the best one, but it's, uh, it's still such a like historical, awesome miniature set. I love these. It's this hammerers, hammerers, harumerers. Oh, but wait, here's... Okay, these are marauder hammerers, at least like four of them. These are a bit older. So three of the old ones. Now we have more of the newer ones. It's the standard bearer. Really like that one, the, the banner. Oh God, there's a lot of hammerers. Hammerers, that's a, that's a difficult word to say if you're Swedish. We got the musician. So it looks like we got 19 hammerers. And uh, yeah, one last thing in here. Uh, it's the fellowship. No, we're missing Gandalf, but it's it's almost a whole set of uh, Lord of the Rings uh, dudes. Sweet. So yeah, that's, that's it for the minis uh, in this package. But before we continue, we got a sponsor, Cyberforge. You all know Titanforge at this point, but did you know that the guys over at Titanforge has a brand that makes sci-fi and cyberpunk miniatures for 3D printers? Their goal is to provide people with sci-fi models from different genres every month, and from their track record with fantasy minis, I have no doubt that this will be an amazing resource for miniature lovers all over. This month there's Mad Max inspired style Wastelanders with both 16 amazing looking miniatures as well as five huge freaking trucks and vehicles in classic high-tech low lifestyle style. You pay $10 per month and you get a pack of sci-fi and cyberpunk miniatures like this or even cooler every month. My favorite from this pack is definitely the little girl with the boomerang and this ripped dude with the weird knives. But I gotta say that the thing that impresses me the most that you get included for 10 bucks are all of the vehicles. And the best thing for me personally with this type of miniature is that all of them are pre-prepared for 3D printing and they're all supported. So if you're not super skilled with supports like me, it's an amazing resource. So check out Cyberforge by following the link in the video description or pinned comment. I'm back. It's a new day, obviously. We have both a box of Gorka Morka. This one is not very heavy. A tiny box here of metal and this big shoe box, which is, whoa, very heavy. So we move the light around. Let's just start digging into this box. Let's start with these dudes. I recognize them, but I don't know the name of these. These are some Imperial dudes. I'm gonna have to look it up. So we got those. This one looks different. It says guard, Imperial Guard. Oh, here is something else. It just says army. Games Workshop 1987. So this gotta be some rogue trader stuff. God damn. Veteran Sergeant. Games Workshop 99. So yeah, I'm gonna show you what we got so far. So let's see what's else in here. <gasps> what are these? Are these Games Workshop? Yeah, <laughs> Games Workshop 98. These look so different though. Way, way different. Some form of gunner? I don't know. 
There is plenty of these here. All of these are metal, by the way. Oh no, okay. So the Cadians are plastic, but these ones are not. Ooh! Look at this. We have some squats. Some Space Marine dude. He's partly metallic, but missing an arm. Okay, so in this pile I found eight Cadian warriors, five rattling gunners, snipers. And I found 10 of these other dudes. So, so far I'm, I'm most excited about the, the tiny ones, the rattlings, but <gasps> what? More squats. Yes, there's four more squats in here. So uh, the rest of it in here is, <laughs> oh, there's one more cool thing. Look at this guy. It looks like Necromunda. It's gotta be Necromunda, right? 95 Pit Slaver. Yeah, I think that's Necromunda. It's mostly like odd bits. There's some few plastic Eldar. Some half bodies. And then there's this guy. I don't know if you guys know who this dude is. But yeah, so far so good. I'm really happy about this stuff. Especially about the squats. That's really cool. I really like those. Okay, second box. See in here what we have. So we got Gorka Morka, just a box for a record truck, injury board, movement on foot, no rule book though, some unpunched stuff, we got some half punched stuff, getting to some at least semi cool stuff. I think the, this is like terrain buildings, and maybe we can connect them to these. It's in quite bad condition, but you know what? It looks okay. Oh, look at this. Nice. I think these are the same as in the Necromunda set. These tiles. And to be honest, I think it's a kind of ingenious design, like mixing in plastic with pre-painted stuff. So if you want to paint it, it's gonna look amazing, but if not, you're still gonna have really good looking terrain and you still get that immersive feeling. So uh, yeah, I really like this. So let's get into the last box, the one that I'm most excited about because I have no idea what's in here. Start with the small box. These, and then there's just orchids, wheels, conversion stuff. So nothing special in there. And this weird one, we got some epic stuff. I don't know if these are orc or if they're chaos. They look kind of chaos -y to me, but maybe you guys know. This one, could this be Mordheim? There's a bunch of odd ones in here. So this is a digger from Gorka Morka. So I can find four of the diggers, that's cool. Fighter from Games Workshop 87. It's probably some other Citadel or Marauder stuff. Maybe for Advanced Dungeons and Dragons or something. And here we start seeing some weirdly fantastic stuff. Okay, Ooh, wait, 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 wait. This is Sam. This is Sam from Lord of the Rings. It's like super old Lord of the Rings before Games Workshop started doing like the game. Yes. So we have Frodo and Sam, and we have... Looks like we have Sam, Frodo and Gollum. Who is this? Super villain. Games Workshop. Please uh, let me know in the comments what this is from, because I have no idea. Ooh! We got some cool stuff in here. This is the cook from Rogue Trader. And then we have the Astropath, a Rogue Trader adventurer as well, I think. And we have... Whoever the frick this is. Could this be Aragon? This is just a guess. I like, I literally have no idea who this is, but looks cool. I don't know if this is Warhammer. This one's missing track. I don't know if it's for Imperial stuff. Let me know in the comment section. So we got some of the Gorky Murky stuff. Gorky Murky. <laughs> Look at this. Ah, oh, this is 90s conversions at its finest. I love this. The straws, some green stuff put in there. Oh my god, this is pretty. Oh, we got this one as well with some conversion stuff. Last vehicle. 
Could this be the Gorkamorka Scorcher? Or is it just like a war track? Look at that beauty. Prospector. Whew, there's a lot to take in. Oh yes. Look at this guy. This is one of my favorites. This one's gonna fit so well into my army. Love it. Oh, let's see what else we have. We got more big bits. This one seems to be missing some stuff. Maybe we'll find it, but I also found a, a tractor cannon and it kind of fits here, but it's the wrong one. Oh, what else do we have? Oh, look at this glory, glory of the 90s again. I don't know who this guy is. It looks a bit like a boss or something. Again, I would really love to hear in the comments who this guy is. Ooh. So this is a named Squig. I don't know. I haven't seen the the character who goes with him. Uh, maybe we'll find him in the box. Let's keep digging. We have some fanatics in there. These Squigs had so much joy and happiness to them. Character is probably the right word. So cool. Ooh! Mad boys, mad boys. We have a run turd. I think I'm gonna do a similar thing to what I did with the other ones. I'm gonna put them in different piles and then we can look through all the stuff in the end. <gasps> oh, red goblin! It's broken, but we have him. <laughs> and then we got some plastic dudes. Uh, these are probably from Gorka Morka. A heavy freaking gun. Bionic leg, dude. That's all it says. Bionic leg. I think that some of the bits don't belong to this guy. It's looking really cool though. <gasps> oh yeah! <laughs> Look at this conversion. Wow. I think this is probably my favorite run turds of all the Rotator Gorkamorka era stuff. Such a big dude. Missing the, the flag in the back. Musician. And we got some Scorcha stuff. We don't have a full Scorcha, but we got some Scorcha stuff. I don't even know if these are the same era, but I mean, it's, it's half a Scorcher. Pain boy. Nice. So I just love this design. Like, look at the face, the character of this. Wow. Uh, modern day runt herd. Nice. <gasps> Ooh! Runt bot. <laughs> love this one. This is turning out to be such a gold mine for just figures that I love. Look at this. We got a rogue trader biker. Nice. It's five minutes back. <laughs> I just checked with a friend, Peter. Thanks, Peter, for being my identification guide. Uh, this seems to be the sleazy rider. Uh, this is a limited edition dude. I'm so happy. Like, this dude alone made it worth the effort for me. And then I can make a video of the stuff that I just love, like unraveling old boxes of minis. Wow. I think it's fascinating, even though I've done this is like my fourth one like this in a video. I still get as excited when I found find these gold mines. So we got a modern day dude with weapon and everything. And with modern, I mean newer than 2000. <laughs> <gasps> wait, wait, two. There's two golf rockers in here. Yes, 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 yes. Some blood bowl stuff. Pogo goblin. Really sweet. Mech boy. Oh my god, Orc Spanner. I don't know what this is. So if anybody knows who this is, let me do. Pain Boy, again, love this model. <gasps> tiniest, tiniest, tiniest piece of gold in here. Rogue Trader era squig. Maybe there's more in here. <gasps> yes, look, I was right. There were more of them. Look at these. Like these are my favorites. I've never seen these in person before and they're unpainted. Wow, what a find. I love this. Such a good piece of history. More musicians. So the rest of the stuff in here, I think it's just Gretchen and different gr grots and snotlings. So I'm gonna bring out all of these and show you once I have them collected. <laughs> So friends, that's it for this video. I hope you had a little bit of fun because this was one of my all-time favorite finds. 
wow <laughs> it's, it's just my response to this i'm super happy with it especially because i've been like looking for rogue trader stuff i've been ordering from the us from uk because i never found almost anything in sweden now i found like this huge pack of this rogue trader stuff and guys don't forget to check out this week's sponsor cyberforge as i mentioned the link is in the video description a super super thanks to everyone who supports this channel by either buying the gear that I use from my website squidmar.com or supports me with a few dollars over at Patreon just to make sure I can run this channel. Massive 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 thanks to everyone of my top patrons. Without you guys I would not be able to do this so thank you guys so much. And with that said have a great day. Bye.